Good morning, guys. Am I audible to all of you? Yes, good morning. Yes. And my screen is also visible, yes. right? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, fine. So, so basically, yesterday we started our ASP.NET Core application development, and we have developed uh, one application using ASP.NET Core empty project, right? And uh, in the in that session also we have discussed uh, what are the things happening behind the scene when we run the hp.net core application and we discussed that uh, uh, it is the main method of the program class which is the entry point to our hp.net core web application and as part of the main method what exactly uh, we are doing now uh, we are going to hosting the web application creating the web host uh, whatever the services and middleware components that we are also registering and uh, at last uh, it will start the application by calling the run method so that is what we have discussed uh, in our yesterday session but the one thing that you need to remember guys so while creating the web host it is going to use the pre configured defaults right so what exactly it is meaning now it is mean it, it's meaning based on the settings of your uh, application right whatever the settings you have provided it is going to use either in process hosting or out of process hosting so what is in process hosting out of process hosting we are going to discuss it in detail in today's session right either it is going to use iis server or custom server right or it can or it might be used both of them uh, to host and uh, on our web application so at what scenario it is going to use iis and what scenario it is going to use castrel and what scenario it is going to use both of them iis as well as castrel right that is what uh, we are going to discuss in today's session right so also before uh, understanding what is in process hosting right let me tell you one thing in ASP.NET Core application, you can host the application using two ways. One is in process, another one is out of process. So let us first discuss what is in process hosting model. Then we will discuss what is out of process hosting model. So if you are hosting your web application under the IIS worker process, right? What it means, it means if you are, you are having multiple server. You are having IIS, Inject, right, Castrel, Apache, many servers are there. If you are hosting your web application under IIS, IIS is the only web server to host and handle your application, then you can say it is in process hosting. In process hosting means the application is going to be hosted under the IIS worker process. Sir, what is IIS worker process? Now, IIS worker process means it is the IIS server only, right? So if you are hosting your IIS server, uh, your ASP.NET Core application in IIS server, then it is said to be ASP.NET Core uh, in process hosting, right? So in that scenario, no more hosting uh, server are available, right? It is alone. It is the only one who is going to serve the request, right? So how it is working? Uh, uh, I mean, what is the working process of in-process hosting? So before that, let me uh, ask you. So guys, uh, this thing is clear. In-process hosting model means if you host the application under IIS server or IIS worker process. So what is the IIS worker process? W3WP.exe. This is the worker process of IIS, right? So uh, similarly, if you are using IIS Express, then what is the worker process? IIS Express. So there are two IIS server, right? One is the actual IIS server, which you can see. And another one is the lightweight version of the IIS server, which you can use in the development server. That is what I'm going to discuss. What is IIS Express? What is IIS, right? Everything we are going to discuss. So if you host your application under IIS server, then it is said to be in process hosting model. Clear? Guys, yes, 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 sir. Right? yes. If someone asked, if someone asked you in the interview, what is IA in process hosting model? Then you need to tell. If we are hosting our application under the IIS worker process, then it is said to be in process hosting model. In the case of in process hosting model, IIS is the only server who is going to handle the incoming HTTP request. That is what you need to tell, right? 
So now we need to understand how the IIS uh, uh, host our application or we can say how the in-process hosting model work in SP.NET Core. So for understanding, for a better understanding, look at this image. This is internet or you can say this is the client or you can say this is the browser. The client can access our application over internet using the browser. And this section, what you can say, this is nothing but IIS. Inside IIS, as I mentioned, there is a worker process who is going to uh, uh, handle all the things, right, HTTP request. And that worker process is nothing but in our application, WP, W3WP.exe. And here we have host our SP.NET Core web application. So inside the IIS, we have hosted our SP.NET Core web application. And inside IIS, the worker process is nothing but it is WP, W3, who is going to handle the incoming HTTP request. Right. So how the request flow? See, this is your browser or you can say this is the client or um, right. The client want to access the HP.NET Core application means the client needs to enter the HTTP protocol. Suppose, suppose your application is hosted using HTTPS or you can also host the application using HTTP. If anybody uh, worked on IIS, right, then they might be know there are basically two types of uh, uh, protocols. One is HTTP app. Using HTTP, you can access application. Using HTTPS, you can also access the protocol. And usually, we configure uh, the port number 80 for HTTP and port number 443 for HTTPS. So, once we uh, host our application into IIS, I will explain this, right? So basically, what I mean to tell you is that any part, whenever you are hosting your application, your application is going to be hosted on some particular port number, right? And, and you can access using the port number or IP address, right? But uh, as a general, how we are accessing? We are accessing by using the domain name, right? So whenever you access the application, then that application is definitely going to be configured on IIS using some port numbers, right? And basically, uh, and if you are accessing HTTP, the port is going to be 80. And for HTTPS, the port number is going to be uh, usually 443, right? So who is the first component that going to receive the request? So there is a component called ASP.NET Core model. So it is a ASP.NET Core application. And if you are using IIA server, right, then this ASP.NET Core model, right, it is going to first receive the request from the client. Sir, what is ASP.NET Core model? ASP.NET Core model is a native IIS model that plugs into IIS request processing pipeline, which allows ASP.NET Core application to work with IIS. That means if you want, right, if you want IIS to serve your ASP.NET Core application, then this ASP.NET Core model is going to be plugged, right? It is going to be combined. It is going to be integrated with the HTTP server or IIS HTTP server. So basically it is a core model, right, native that model that block that combined with IIS request processing pipeline and this ASP.NET Core model allows the ASP.NET Core application uh, to be accessed, right? So if you want to work with the IIS, this ASP.NET Core model is required. And this ASP.NET Core model, it is nothing but the runtime environment of your .NET application. So it receives the request, right? So this is the ASP.NET Core model. So don't think that the request is directly go to the IIS HTTP server. So first the ASP.NET. So this is only in the case of IIS, not in the case of other, uh, what I can say, um, uh, not in the case of other servers. So I'm talking, we are talking about in-process hosting model. So in the case of in-process hosting model, only server is IIS, right? But this IIS server can, can tell on access the uh, see, using this IIS or this IIS HTTP server, the user cannot access the application. So along with this IIS HTTP server, you should have this ASP.NET Core mod. And it is already available in the IIS. So you do not need to install explicitly or you do not need to do anything separately. Right. So once this ASP.NET Core model receives the request, then it will transfer, it will navigate that request to the IIS HTTP server. Right. 
So this co component is definitely to be there integrated with the IAS HTTP server. And once it transmits the uh, request to the IAS HTTP server, then IAS HTTP server will process the request. As part of processing the request, it will check whether any configuration you created in your IAS server to this particular application, any security feature you have implemented for this application, right? If everything is fine, then it will transfer that HTTP request to our application code. Application code means in our application, definitely we are having, uh, we need to define some middleware component, the request processing pipeline, then it will, whatever the you know, middleware component defined in the past, right? It will transfer that request to the application code. But while, while transferring this request to the application, right, to the middleware component, right, then this application needs to access the incoming data. What, what do you mean by incoming data? Now, whenever the client sends a request, request contains some request body, request header, what is the request type method, means what is the method, right? So what is the other, suppose in the, if you are providing some kind of a token information in the header, so request header, request body, request type, whether get method, put method, post method, all the information this application needs to know, then how he will access all this information. Now this HTTP server will send one object, will send the HTTP context instance, right? This HTTP context instance contain all the request information, which this HTTP server will transfer to this application code. Once the application code, once the application, whenever I'm saying application code, you need to consider it is the middleware components only, right? Once the application code receives the request, then from this HTTP context, right, they can access the requested data, right? They will process the data, they will generate the response, and then they, once the application code handle the request, to handle the request means once they generate the response, that response they will again send back to the IAS HTTP server. IAS HTTP server again will send that data to the SP.NET Core model. SP.NET Core model again returns the response to the client who initially made the request. Who is using that video? Guys, videos are completely prohibited. Otherwise, I will throw him out from the session. Videos are strictly prohibited. You can't use your video. It will distract not only me, uh, but also other people, right? So this is how the ASP.NET Core in process hosting war. So the client will send the request, the request to the IA server. Inside IA server, ASP.NET Core model first will handle the request. It will receive the request. It will, and, and this model is important. This is needed if you want to serve uh, um, the ASP.NET Core application in IA server. Once it receives the request, it will transfer the request to IIS HTTP server. IIS HTTP server will transfer the request to the application code. Application code will handle the request, generate the response, right? And this application code will send the response back to IIS HTTP server. This IIS HTTP server is nothing but your in-process server, IIS server, right? Again, this will return the response to SP.NET Core model. SP.NET Core model will return the response back to the client who initially made the request. Any question from anyone guys, how in-process posting works? Sir, what is the HTTP handler and HTTP module here? Any role of that? There is no role of HTTP handler and HTTP model. In because already we have already in the past session, I have told you there is no web config file. There is no HTTP handler. There is no HTTP model. There is no global data. Explorer. You have already asked that question that day only. Okay. 